Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy John for the Game of here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Saga Lock. Hopefully you all are having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. I have been tossing and turning and really not been caring about things today because sleep is whatever. The Seahawks have a morning game and so hashtag stressed. But it's fine. We'll, we'll live with it. We got our team trained up to level 51 a pop. Which is really nice because I didn't realize how close everything was getting. So I'm going to go ahead and put Oogleblip in the front of the party. I think Oogleblip is honestly our best bet. Honestly, here's the thing with our team though. Is I thought that we were kind of in a spot where things were going to be more complex and more complicated. But here we are with like 150k right now. I wish I had that in my bank account. I mean, everybody does, let's be fair. Um... Honestly, I don't know what I want to do or how I want to go about today's episode because it could honestly be crazy and it could honestly be really silly. Um, one thing I know for a fact I got to do, though, is uh, get the music going in here because uh, it's not going. And I just realized that what happens is if I feel like for some reason, if I don't move in this game for hours, because not going to lie, I had this. Like, I was tossing and turning, right, and all that stuff, but I, still, I like, yeah, it was just a day. Uh, so I turned it back on, and then just had it sit there for a little bit, and it's just not going. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I have it muted in the, I had it muted in my volume mixer. Yeah, I had a feeling. I was like, you know... It doesn't seem like things are going the way they're supposed to. Yeah, I mean, I should have checked my volume mixer, not gonna lie. Oh, that's right, we ended at the end. I was like, where the hell is this? I forgot. I'm like, I still think it's the other place, but it's not. But yeah, we have Oogle Blip leading, and I don't know how I feel necessarily about Oogle Blip leading. It's, it's kind of just been a thing, right? Because... Ooh, that's 5k. Well, now we have 150k in our bucket. Um, but with Oogle Blip, I'm like, how scared? Back to back? We've been getting a lot of that. We really have been getting a lot of the weird, awkward back to backs that you just don't expect to get. And I don't know how I should feel about that because I feel like it should. I should be happy, and it should be considered a good thing. Don't come up. I stood right in the way of his path thing. And I was like, don't come up here, please. Just don't. I just, that's all I want, just for you not to come up here. And then, little do we know, he comes up there and just decides he wants to be a little pain in the butt. And you're just like, well, bruh, why? Also, I'm peeking the microphone, which is interesting. Because I feel like I'm being very, very quiet and I'm just peeking it. So this should be a lot better for you all. But, oh, I mean, I guess luckily if we're going to get boppadoodled by something, at least it's something that actually has no bearing on things that are going on. Also, I could go about it this way, right? Like if I, yeah, because I can be quieter this way, but also have a higher gain so it stays. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. See, we're working it out. We're doing what we need to do because, like I said, it's really late and I really shouldn't be recording, but I am because I'm literally, like, don't have anything else that my brain's doing. Um, ooh. But, yeah, no, I'm actually really stressed about the Seahawks game this week, a.k.a. today, the day you're seeing it. And by the time you're seeing this, this the, the Seahawks would have already won or lost. Um, The weird thing, though, about this week is literally, like, all the Lions players on the offensive end of the freaking football. Like, I swear everybody's injured, it feels like. And I'm like, what happened? Did ever everybody just decide to flop on the floor? I'm like, this is this is not what's supposed to happen. Oh this is the place that I thought I was at. Oh, I was like, why the heck have I not found what I need to find? That would be why. Because this is, this Lacanosa town is before this area. 
So yeah, that's what happened. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Like that, that was a big aha moment for me. Because this guy's like, I want to battle you because I haven't l freaking lost a battle in so freaking long. I, I feel like, imagine being this man, right? This man has a 999 win streak. Probably has sat here his entire life hoping, waiting for the day that he gets a thousand. And here you are just chilling, having a grand old time, going on your adventure um and fighting this dude who actually has a threat for our entire team could actually beat us um yikers uh that's like a really bad pokemon for us to be fighting because oh boy also i never went to the move deleter we can do that this episode once i go heal somewhere because i feel like there's got to be like a, a pokemon center here and if there's not i'll be very shocked but there should be uh it wouldn't help us right now, but, um, dude, I don't even know. I straight up don't even know who to go into because, like, I feel like, here's what I feel like. I feel like if I go into, um, ooh, I need to, yeah, now, see, now I need to turn up my game. It's weird. Like, I don't get how game in this all works and the blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, so, like, now I'm over here, like, who the frick do I send out because you're only weak to fire. Siren's my best option kind of no name is the best option when it comes to being defensive and being able to withstand the hits that this thing's gonna throw at me due to it likely uh, likely nature of actually being able to uh, be resisted but I have all moves that do nothing so I guess siren See, but I don't want to rely on Siren too often and too much. But here's the facts. The facts is these two get murdered. Absolutely. Oh, wait. I have Jonas. Jonas is neutral. I I don't know why I discounted the fact that Jonas existed. But I did. Although that's not a very good situation for us. I'm going to sword stance and hope that it's not going to hit especially because if it does, we're in a little bit of trouble, like in a little, a lot of trouble. Oh, oh, good. It hits with bug. I, I, I reacted simply based off of the fact that I saw special move. Didn't even think about the fact that it was a bug type. Cool. I mean, Jonas got his first action. That's cool, right? Jonas can continue getting his action because this is a Pokemon I need. Also, why? That's interesting. So, out of this headset, all of the cries of the Pokemon are happening, but it's not happening on this ear, which is I don't know. It's it's that's odd because I thought that they happened on not just the one ear. Oh shoot. That could be a problem. That really could be a problem because if we hit ourselves, it's gonna do a lot. Can we not? That would be great. Oh my. Freaking, this poor man just got his butt handed to him over here. I'll have to try again. Dude, you're not going to be alive to try again. I just said that out loud. Oh my god. I am a menace to society today. <laughs> I don't think we have a Bianca Big Bad Fight. I'm going to carry forth. Because our team is just kind of in a spot anyways where that's that's okay. Because like I said, I don't think that we have to fight Bianca or we have any big bad fights. Ooh. That's a forced breeder fight, but that we should... Oh, wait, no, it's not a forced breeder fight. Oh, good. 
then we can skip by her if we don't fail that. That's our encounter. Um. Okay. What? I literally was not intending to get my encounter right now, but... Oh my god. I literally in my head was like, I should use my master ball. I should use my master ball. I should use my master ball. It's a Lugia. It's fine if I use my master ball. And I then told myself, no, it's too low of a level. That hurts my soul so much because I told, my, again, here I am telling myself no and I, 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 I actually would have benefited from that. <laughs> oh my god. I I need to stop telling myself that I can't or that the no because y you can't and no holds you back in a lot of ways. <sighs> it's just my natural reaction though. It's like no, you don't do that. You're not allowed to do that. Like what do you think you who do you think you are letting yourself be actually a freaking person that does things and not just Ugh. I it's, it was a psychic type that was even more reason for me like to say no but gosh that was such a good encounter for me to just literally have that ripped away my heart like what the heck Wow, like, wow is the best thing that I can say to that. You're the deleter, right? Nope, you're the hard skill lady. Hi, move deleter. Delete cut from no name, because I don't think I need it anymore. Because what I really want on no name is Shadow Ball. Uh, Oh my gosh. I guess we can get the other two encounters. Because that's what the rest of this episode is. Sorry, like, I'm literally, like, I was literally on the verge of crying. Like, that, that hit me hard. That that really did hit me hard. I mean, I know it's like 3 a.m., John, and uh, you're going to get some interesting things. But holy crap, that hit me hard. Because that was a true crisis in confidence. Um, no, I've been watching, like, Madden, like, Madden YouTubers right recently, and, uh, that's one specifically, because obviously you guys all know that I'm a Seahawks, like, freaking freak, um, and one of my favorite YouTubers was doing a Seahawks Madden franchise, so I was like, uh, duh, I gotta watch that, like, there's no if ands, or buts about that one, so, yeah, that, <laughs> that was a true, so, yeah, one of the things was, like, um, in their series, Tyler Lockett was having a crisis in confidence, and I'm like, that's funny, because it's Tyler Lockett, and Tyler Lockett's, like, amazing. I don't even know what Pokemon this is. Bruh. 
here's the hard thing about Jirachi, right? Is I don't I don't see Jirachi being as good as a freaking Lugia. Plus a steel. I don't think this is Master Ball where they I don't see this as a Master Ball worthy moment. I'm going to be honest. Assist. Assist plus struggle bug, huh? You know, I'm actually okay with them lowering my special attack because like that could happen. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna go into our girl Lopany clickbait, which is DK Metcalf. A uh, yes, Seahawks themed. I know you had to have the abs, abolicious, abba dabba do. Uh, and it's just like, okay. Like, there was no way I was not including this man on the freaking hot list. So, I'm going to heal first. Cool. Okay. Now, I'm going to go for it. Not like Dan Campbell does on fourth down, but I'm going to go for it. Um, I guess we do have to go for it like Dan Campbell does on fourth down because apparently this Jirachi was very mad that I said that. Um, not gonna lie though, I do have like my Madden franchise is the Detroit Lions. So like the way I built their franchise was, I for a second was like, bruh, are you a Lions fan Jirachi? Cause I had end so released. You know, no, my one of my my best friends a Lions fan, uh, so you would have been able to join my Lions fan club, even though like, wait, there's two words there, there's two words there, there's two words there, there's two words there. There's two words there. <laughs> gonna... Oh no. Jirachi almost joined the team after I said that. So clearly Jirachi's a Lions fan. Um, now here's the real question for you, Jirachi. Are you a Goff fan? Like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I gained mad respect for Jared Goff after he was like playing with a broken finger. So like, Goff is totally okay for you to like Okay, you're not a goth fan. Do you like DeAndre Swift? I like him in Madden. I haven't seen him much in actuality. Okay, what about Levi Onwuzurike? What about him? I don't know if he's on the team anymore. I feel like he is, because he was like a rookie last year, but are you like a D-line fan? Like, do you like the wide receivers? DJ Chark, Amon Ross A. Brown, TJ Hawkinson, any of those people? No? How obscure do we have to get? Are you are you like a trenches or are you a trenches gal? They have a pretty makeshift offensive line right now, but I mean the only thing I can think of is Panay Sewell. No. Uh, are you an Austin Seabird fan? Maybe. Uh, Austin Seabird? Damn, I was really hoping that you. I was really hoping you were a special teams girl. Um, maybe you like the punter. I don't know their name. I don't know the punter's name. Cause it's not John F or Josh Fox or like whatever. It's not the Jacksonville Jaguars person. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. The only part I know is Michael Dixon, and that's it by actual like first name, last name basis. Okay. 
Like, that's all I've got for you. Are you like pro Matthew Stafford? Like, are you are you are you not watching the Lions now, but are watching them back in their like Matthew Stafford era? Like Matthew Stafford, Calvin Johnson, Barry Sanders. No. Do I need to stop naming Lions players and just let you be caught? Probably. I'm like naming a whole bunch of Lions players. Like, I could probably, like, for some reason, I'm naming more Lions players than Seahawks players in my, my in my head right now. It's just like, it's something. Okay. Anyways, timer ball because we'll tr we'll try it now. Okay. Are you a fan of the Ravens? Are you a Ravens fan? Because I know a Ravens fan. I know two of them, actually. So that's a pretty good crowd to be in. No. What about a Jaguars fan? Are you a... Oh, that was the Master Ball. Are you a Jaguars fan? No, you're not being kind, Drachi. Do I... I swear to God, Drachi, if you're a Bears fan. Drachi, if you're a Bears fan. Oh, thank God you hate the Bears. Good. You didn't even think about it. Great. Are you a Packers fan? Are you a Packers fan? No, not at all. Okay, so you like the Lions. Well, I haven't asked. Well, uh, there's one more team. There's one more team in the division. Are you a Vikings fan like Buff? Because you like the Lions, but that doesn't mean that. Okay, no, no, no. You're you, you've, you're a confirmed Lions like in that division. Okay. You know what? I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. The Lions are my favorite in the division too. That's literally all thanks to Joy. But because <laughs> I didn't give a second thought to the Lions until Joy came around and came into my life. And then, you know, we can talk about Lions. So. This Drachi's just a Lions fan. What do I. Like, it was so. Like, I. It's a Joy and a Lions fan, okay? Like. I could tell. Just by the way that like it was shaking anytime I'd bring up the Lions, but like literally any other team, nope, 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 nope. Stick to my Lions. I'm like, fine, Jirachi. You know what you want. Um, huh. I'm naming you Stafford. I I have to. Either Stafford or Amon Ra. You didn't react too much when I was talking about the Stafford era. You really reacted the most when I had brought up <sighs> Hmm. Yeah, I mean I'm, I'm naming you I'm naming you uh Avin Ra. go in to look at Joy's fantasy team to make sure I spell it right. It shouldn't be that hard, but apparently today it is. It literally is not that hard. Why did I struggle with that? I straight up struggled way too hard on that. Okay, good job, me. Okay, now let's get our village bridge encounter and then end today's episode. I think that's a grand idea because that was a long encounter for what that was. So our village bridge encounter is going to be a...
Chimchar. We'll take it. We don't have a we, we don't have an actual fire type on the team. Also, we had Oogleblub in the league the entire episode, and it just literally didn't matter one bit. Just solely because of the fact <laughs> that literally we ever sent an Oogleblub and it was trouble today. Really? Are we back to this game? Oh, that was a crit capture. I just saw that. I literally, I didn't know you could get crit captures in this game. But apparently you can. I'm naming it Aaron. Okay, well, that's a good way to end today's episode. Hopefully you'll have a wonderful day. In the next episode, we get to take on Opelucid City, which is the seventh gym in this game. It's kind of crazy how much we still have yet to go. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one when we do that, because we get to train up the team to level 54 before that, which is sweet. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys then. Bye!